We have seen women thinking they're dating Keanu Reeves. One was dating three actors. One after another. And the lady that was going to become Mark Zuckerberg's side piece? Well, we have another one. And just like the previous ladies, she's blinded by money. Oh, and talking about side pieces, she has one. Actually, two. This lady has a backup for her backup. Hey, you want to know what bothers me, so you want to talk, let's talk, okay? Yeah. This is a complicated story because Franz, the protagonist of this love triangle, is dating two people at the same time while being in a weird relationship herself. In real life. So it's not a triangle but a square. And she's French Canadian so she's so polite while talking about dating multiple people at the same time. It's kind of funny. Huh? Complicated task. How about we take those three men and speak about them separately. Let's start with the husband. I was living in common law with Maurice. He got cancer and his personality changed, so I have no more romance with him. I believe she mentions they don't live together anymore. I had to look at what common law means. I, I have no clue. Huh? What? France was dating her spouse for what? More than 46 years? Her daughter is 46. Anyway, it's their relationship. Maybe they have a thing for freedom, you know? And about the cancer changing the dynamic? That's really sad. Usually those types of circumstances will either fortify or destroy our relationship. I sure hope the ex is okay now and she didn't abandon him. Franz looks like a nice person, so my guess is the guy made it. Or maybe it's just for my peace of mind. We are like a brother and sister. I'm still living with this guy because we have a house together. Uh, since 20 years, we live together. Got it. Here's the interesting thing. Franz knew about scammers gathering on dating sites, so she didn't even try to get in there. But she was following something big on social media. And she brought up the situation of the her fecal matter on the bed. And I... Uh, <laughs> Uh, and she just tried to blame it on the dogs. She knew about Johnny, but after the trial, she was fascinated by him. She found a fan page on Facebook and she was immediately greeted by a message. If you want more news about this person, click on uh, Messenger. So that's what I did. Franz actually wrote back saying, I know you're not Johnny, so why bother? And the response she got started the next chapter. His name is Bernard Henry Vasquez, a Spanish guy working for Johnny Depp. His agency was hired by Johnny to take control of the page and talk to the fans. He sent Franz a picture of himself and quickly started talking until the romance phase began. And when he find out I have a travel trailer, oh, he says, don't sell it, Franz, because we're gonna bring it in California. We will go camping together. Not only that, but he started calling her my queen or babe. You know, the usual pet names we hear around here. I bet he was testing the waters on how much money she had. Totally different with the guy I used to live with. The guys I used to live with, they just think about themselves. I mean, he was battling cancer, of course he was thinking about himself. But in contrast to him, Bernard was a charmer, claiming a bunch of things and promising even more. Bernard wanted to be in a monogamous relationship with Franz and she immediately accepted. You can stop working and I will treat you like a queen. So yes, I fell in love. Yes, Bernard claimed to be a millionaire who made it big in crypto. Of course he did. But that's not all. He was so kind he offered Franz to be a millionaire as well. She only had to help him. I'm gonna give you all my uh, information about my bank account. You will do some few transactions so I will know if I can trust you 100%. She did this twice for him so she earned his trust. But then Franz made a mistake. She logged into his account on her computer to do what she was told to but the transaction didn't go through. Oh. That's when she received a message from the bank saying they froze the account and if she wanted to fix it, she had to send $8,000. Bernard was like, well, how am I gonna do that if my account is frozen? So it came from Franz. She was gonna pay the amount because ultimately it was her fault somehow. But it didn't stop there. He says, with your currency, that will be about uh, 26000 I send again the money by... 
crypto? Oi, that money will never be retrieved. Once they ask you to send crypto, it's done. It's gone. Untraceable. Franz sent Bernard throughout their relationship more than $100,000. She just wanted to meet him and after all she has done for him, he was ready to reciprocate. He told Franz he was flying to her. Franz went to the airport eager to finally see him, but he never showed up. I text his son, Michael, and Michael says, well, Franz, I don't know. My dad was supposed to meet you. I put the, the authorities search on my dad. After this, I guess Bernard just disappears because there's no resolution in his account. But this whole story happened for a reason. If we go back, they met because Fran was interested in an actor, Johnny Depp. And at the beginning of the relationship, Bernard told her she would eventually meet Johnny in person. And this was actually before they got romantic. So so Franz was expecting to meet Johnny and then Bernard happened, right? So after the trial, Johnny secluded himself in the UK. He didn't want any sort of interactions with anyone. I mean, can you blame him? So him actively paying someone to interact with his fans, it did sound so weird after all, but again, this is a fan page, not an original. A fan made this. Anyway. The way Franz's relationship with Johnny came up to the social catfish team was kind of like an afterthought, so they had to call her back the next day to get the full story. I get scammed. I don't trust nobody. I said, you have to prove me you are Johnny Depp or I'm gonna flush you right there. So Franz dumped Bernard and gave Johnny an ultimatum, but she didn't answer the question she was asked. Were you dating both at the same time? I guess the answer is a yes. Johnny sent her a selfie with some writings that looked so bad for a Photoshop composition, but even her telling Johnny to prove himself, she had her mind already set on him being real. By the way, Johnny put on a tux to take a picture with horrible writings to prove he's real instead of a phone call or a video chat? Well, shocking revelations, nobody is real but the ex-husband. She took the news very well. Again, it's the French-Canadian thing. She is so polite. She also wants justice. So she is working with the social catfish team to make that happen. What do you think about this? Regardless of Frances' politeness, she played two guys. I mean, both scammers, most likely the same person. But she didn't know this. She was romancing with Bernard in a relationship with him while thinking of escaping to the UK with Johnny. It's sad how her real life relationship ended, but it's as if she was running towards love and she ended up buying it in bulk. And the money thing. More than love, she was interested in a comfortable future for herself. She mentions how she had worked her entire life and once Bernard told her she will stop working once they were together, she was immediately convinced. Frank knew about women scammers lurking on dating sites, but I guess that's all she knew. She didn't know the tactics, how they talk to the victim, how they love bomb them, avoid meeting at all costs, have interesting jobs where they travel a lot and have a lot of money, or the job is so dangerous they cannot travel altogether. Well, now she knows. I assume her daughter didn't know about Johnny Depp or actually the whole story. 46 years old. She's a Gen Xer. They got internet in like what, their teenage years? She she would have searched for Bernard online and quickly found the truth. I think Franz avoided a lot of details because deep down, she knew it was just too good to be true. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. Please subscribe and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps. I hope your day or night went fantastic and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. There's a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on my side of the bed was human fecal matter.